The Christmas Peg by Cameron Williams and Matthew Martin. Let me tell you a story about a boy called Wall and how things went terribly wrong. Wall always tried to be nice. He really did. But one year he was naughty so many times that something horrible happened. On Christmas Eve, as Santa was getting ready to take toys to children all over the world, he noticed Wall's name on his naughty list. Santa sighed, <sighs> and he rummaged around his huge toy sack until he found Wall's present. It was a helicopter that could really fly. It was the best, but Santa had to give it to someone else. On Christmas morning, Wall and his big sister Laura woke up before the sun. They ran downstairs to look under the tree. Wall was so excited, he got the hiccups. <laughs> In Laura's sack, a wonderful basketball, and in Walls, a peg. Just one peg made of wood. It was horrid and so boring. Why, why, he cried. Next year, Walt tried to be nice. He really did. But it's hard being nice all the time. It's impossible. And when Santa saw Walls' name on that list again, he tisk tisk he decided to give Wall's cricket bat to someone else. On Christmas morning, Laura got a new bike. Wall peeked into his sack. The only thing inside was a piece of paper. What's more awful than a peg? Look, a picture of a peg. He cried and cried. The next year, Wall didn't even try to be nice. He was just plain naughty. Whew. And when Santa saw Wall's name on his naughty list again, he harumphed. <laughs> and on Christmas morning, as his sister danced in her new dress, Wall could see his sack looked flat. It looked flatter than flat. He reached inside all the way to the bottom corners and found nothing. It was empty. All he had now was the memory of a peg. He was sad and angry. It was the worst Christmas ever. ever. Everything seemed to remind him of that silly peg. Well, something had to change. Wall decided to try his absolute hardest to be good, and it turned out to be fun, even for the fish. So the next Christmas, as Santa was making final checks before the worldwide toy run, he noticed something that made him smile. Wall's name was on the nice list. And this time, when Wall and Laura looked under the tree, Wall's toy sack was full to the brim. Wall was very, very happy. He was so happy he got the hiccups. <laughs> it was the best Christmas ever. Ooh. The Christmas Peg by Cameron Williams and Matthew Martin.